Hello and welcome to another People in Action Arts and Crafts video with Martin. Today we're going to be making pom pom key rings and wool feathers. The amount of supplies you'll need are limited, so let's take a look. So first off you'll need a pair of scissors, and then you'll need something to wrap your wool around, and then you'll need some coloured wool. Ok let's get started, so take the thing you're going to wrap the wool around and start wrapping the wool around it. Now you can do this as much as you like, the more you wrap around the thicker the pom pom. Once you've done that part you can add a different colour and you can do this in stages throughout. So keep wrapping and wrapping until you think you have enough. Then it should look something like this. Now trim the edge and take another piece of wool. This is going to be the piece of wool that you tie around your entire pom pom to keep it together. So now it's time to remove the wool from the box. This may be a little bit difficult because now it's gotten quite tight. Put the wool around it and tie a knot. Now make sure this is really tight. You may need to use the finger to hold it in place. Hello Mrs Sheep! <coughs> now it's time to cut all of those loops. So you can take your time with this and make sure you've cut them all. That's one side done. Then move on to the next. Once you've cut all of the loops you need to ruffle it about a bit until it looks more like a pom pom. And then the final step really is to just trim it until you have it nice and neat. Now get rid of that excess wool, take your keys and find a place on your keys where you can tie it. And voila, you're done. Make sure you trim that excess. Now the next thing you can do is make a little character out of your pom pom if you like. So start by drawing some eyes. And once you have those eyes you can cut them out. Now you need to take your glue and your paintbrush, don't forget your pom pom, and glue the eyes on. It's as simple as that. Wow, doesn't this critter look great? Hello and welcome to the bonus craft round. So now we're going to make our woolen feathers. So you'll need a paintbrush, some scissors, some glue, some metal sticks or just an ordinary stick, some wool of different colours and make sure you put something down to keep your table clean. Right, let's start by cutting some wool. It needs to be about 7 to 8 inches in length. You can cut as many pieces as you like and make sure you change up the colours. Once you've done this you need to take your metal stick and start tying the pieces of wool around the stick. Now you can alternate the colours to make it look a little bit better. 
Then you keep tying until you've used up all of your wool. It should look something like this when you're done. Because I used a metal stick and it's quite bendy, I decided to bend the bottom upwards to keep the wool in place. But this isn't necessary, you can do it with an ordinary stick. So position the wool how you want it and then take some glue and your paintbrush and start painting the wool. Now you want to get this really really wet so that the wool absorbs all of the glue. This may take some time but you'll get it. Once you completely soak the wool in glue, you can start positioning your feather how you like it and then push down to get rid of any excess glue. Just like this. Now all you need to do is leave them to dry. Once they're dry they should look like this. These would look great on any dream catcher or you could even make a pair of earrings if you like. We hope you enjoyed this week's video and don't forget to send in all of your photos of your crafts. Sure, if you like Comment and share with your friends.